good day YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun RAM comparison video between Windows 7 on the left versus Windows XP on the right. So without further ado, I'll get into it and I'll open the task manager for each of these, Windows task manager. It doesn't change too much over the years, uh, especially amongst these two versions here. And we can see the CPUs idle enough for both of them, that's nice to see. I'll start with the right hand side, so not even 100 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Windows XP. It's not even registering as a green line, which is pretty fantastic there. Whereas on the left hand side, Windows 7, now this should be about 500-600 megabytes of RAM. I don't know why it's doing this. It's always using a lot of CPU and, and uh, RAM. It was one of the most popular Windows uh, to date, I would have to say, with the exception of Windows XP, in fact. But um, there's always some background process, processes going on, and I just can't you know, really account for what the hell is going on there. But um, yeah, it should be about a gigabyte, but um, having said all that, take all these values with a bit of a grain of salt. Windows does tend to have a lot of uh, ghost processes doing things that we can't even see. But uh, let's leave it at that for now. Uh, probably the main takeaway for this video is the fact that you shouldn't be using either of these Windows uh, versions. Don't use Windows XP, don't use Windows 7. They're no longer supported. So you're going to have security risks if you're using them online. Uh, you know, some hackers are going to start taking your... Um, your details so be careful and don't use them at all so thanks for watching guys please leave a comment subscribe hit that like button and i do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one cheers